What's up, Stu Crew? Time to get your happy on. It's Motivational Monday. I'm so excited. It's Monday, you know what that means? No clue. We got a game online to turn on the YouTube. Get Chuck the motivation and listen to what he say. It's time for JB's Motivational Monday. John Gay is here with the Motivational Minute, inspired by recent events. But first things first, how awe to the power of some was that intro created by Edwin Feliciano Jr., our very own Stu Crew member, Rath CPA. You have some mad skills, man. And Stu Crew, I want you to drop by to his channel, send over some love, and also sub him. Well, today we are talking about spreading your wings while keeping your roots. And I was inspired by one of the top entertainment stories this week, the suicide of Russell Armstrong, which I also happened to do a special report on. Now you may not know his name, but Russell was married to Taylor Armstrong and both of them appeared on the Bravo hit Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, where Russell was portrayed as a pretty creepy dude. Now in real life, after the first season finished, uh, he faced pretty negative media attention. That combined with some serious pre-existing financial problems along with his wife filing for divorce about a month ago was a lot to handle. He ended up hanging himself and one of the side stories that came out of all this is the effect that being on a reality show has on your personal life and also relationships. All that attention, it's intoxicating, exhilarating, and devastating especially if you're not grounded and get caught up in the illusion. Like we talked about last week, don't let praise enlarge your head or negativity shrink your heart. When big things happen to you, whether they be positive or negative, try to find your center and stay grounded. Trouble starts happening when you get caught up in that hype, which usually passes as quickly as it comes. Everyone is captivated watching a train wreck, but they all go home after the crash. Don't mistake attention for caring. If you're grounded, have strong family and friendship bonds, and also a powerful sense of self, you will fare so much better in a world filled with phonies and avoid getting trapped in the ugly emptiness behind the glittery illusions. Things change and people are strange, so keep it moving. So for you guys, my beloved Stu Crew, how this all applies to you. When you're going for your dreams, Make sure you have that good support structure behind you. True friends, family who will tell you when you're stepping out of line. Believe me, I know personally how important that is. Oh yeah, mama will give you a big ol' slap upside the head if it ever gets too big. So turn a negative into a positive and learn from this bad situation. Don't let the haters get to you. Don't get caught up in the hype. When a new opportunity presents itself to you, Analyze it first to see the benefits and drawbacks and whether or not it's good for you to get involved in. That way you avoid getting trapped in a situation where you feel that taking your own life is the only escape. And most importantly, have that good support structure around you so you don't feel so alone. Uh -huh. So reach up for your dreams while keeping your feet firmly on the ground. You need both roots and wings to achieve long-lasting success. And guys, for your common question, have you ever been in a situation where you lost your center? And how did you handle it? And now it's video response time. Promise this from last week. Last week I asked you guys to tell me what some of your goals are and I promised I'd be featuring one or so every show. We're going to feature one today and the very first one is from Stu Crew member Boogawis. I'm a member of the Stu Crew since you asked me to share my goals. I figured right now my present goals are becoming an elementary school teacher, possibly a missionary to France, and maybe planning on putting an album together someday if I get the chance. So that's just it for me. and. Hopefully you're doing well. Take care. God bless you. A school teacher, a missionary, and possibly dropping an album. I like that. You like that, Midnight? Those are some awesome goals to have and really nice dropping in that little God bless at the end in a good way. Winning. Uh, Stu Crew, please leave your comments for Miss Michelle Bugawis. 
in the comment section below and give her some support in achieving those goals. And one last thing, Miss Michelle, I want to add, and that is make sure to follow the things that you really love, okay? The things that are your passion, what you bound out of bed to do. You mentioned a lot of different things, and I want to make sure you concentrate on the ones that are your passion and not necessarily something that someone else is telling you you should do. One thing I've learned, I don't know all the keys to success, but one I found is that if you do what you love, you will be successful. And on those words, Stu Crew, until next time, stay in the positive. Changing your thinking changes your world. Much love and respect. New Media Stew is like a big hot bowl of joy. Get chunked.